Nazara, page 11. Today we have many subjects such as where is the source for um, kissing the mezuzah? When we walk in the house, we either touch or kiss the mezuzah. Where is from? The whole idea of the commented on the Torah, Unkelus, is that the Unkelus, that well-known convert or not, and way more things relate to faith, things relate to a different alachot when it's come to um, a convert, and many more. So let's start page 11, top of the page. Onkelos by Clonimos Igayar. Here's a story about a Roman who converted to Judaism, and it's a disputation among the rabbis if that's the, the one, Megillah, page 3, if that's the Onkelos that we know in the Torah, the translator to Aramaic, or someone else. But if you read in Gemara and Gitin, page 56b, you see there um, a similar story. And again, the question is, is the same one. But anyway, it's a fascinating story about his devotion to Judaism. They said Shadar Kesar Gunda de Romae Abatre. So apparently, uh, the Roman emperor uh, sent a troop to um, to bring him, to seize him, to bring him over to the emperor. We assume that it's in order to execute him or something in that uh, uh, fashion. Mashchinu bekra'ei igayu. So simply speaking, we usually um, rejecting a convert. Um, as you know, the story of Naomi and Ruth uh, three times. Um, if you remember, we studied in Yevamot, page 47. But here, the Mefarshim, Yun Yaakov, and others said it was between the non-Jews and him, who was a convert, is different than um, between um, a fellow Jew that tried to convert someone who's not Jewish. But anyway, um, he brought them a different sources, different psukim, and as a result, he um, was able to um, convey to them the beauty of Judaism, and they converted to Judaism. Hadar Shadar Gunda Gunda de Romaei Abatrei, Acharin Abatrei. So the, the Caesar sent another group of soldiers after him, after the first one he lost because they converted to Judaism. And the same story happened again. Amarlu lo temru levelo midi ki avu shakle vaazlu. He said to them, don't have any discussion with him. And Amar lehu, so Onkelu said to them, even he didn't want to have a discussion. He said, Ema lechu miltu be'alma. So he said, I'm not going to tell you any divay Torah, I'm just telling you just a general, a, something like a um, mere statement. So he said to them, you know, there is hierarchy. And if you um, think about the stages, like Nifrioma, Nakatnu Rakamei Papiora, Papiora le Duxa, Duxa le Agmoni, Agmona le Koma. So you have a different um, stages of hierarchy, each of them carry a torch, the others. But when it's come to the Koma, meaning the, the, the king, the ruler, Koma minakat nurami kamein shei, the king carry the torch in front of the people? No. Amrei lelo? Obviously not. Amar lehu, hakadosh bachu nakat nurami kamein Israel, dikhti v'ashem alo lechim neem yomayim. Isn't that fascinating? In this week, parasha, the Torah tells us, in parashat b'shalach, how the Almighty himself, ani velo malach, God himself, carry before the Jewish people when they left Egypt. The text said, and the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud and lead them in a way by night in a pillar of fire to give them light. So it's kind of show them the, the, the greatness of God. So I <laughs> guess what happened. It's already, how do you say it, like third time, third group, Igayu. All of them con convert to Judaism. So Hadar Shadar Gunda Harina Abatrei. Then he sent another group of soldiers to him, the Caesar. Amar lehu lotishtu midi bahadei. At this time, I prohibited you to have any conversation with him. So the troop followed his instruction and took Unkelus with them. Chazam mezuzta de mincha pitcha. So he saw mezuzah um, at the place at the doorway. So he placed his hand on the mezuzah. So here you see the source, the Mephoshim said, 
רב מוישה פיינס, אין דארק אין מוישה, יורד דעה, ריש פי בהי, סיד אורסו רבי עקיבא איגר, אין אדרס, that um, when you see the mezuzahs, you kiss the mezuzahs, right? And you say this line, my high. So, he, so, so, so they ask him, what is this? Amar lehu, ei malat ant. Amar lehu, min agosh lo lamelech basar v'adam v'shem b'fnim, v'adam v'shem b'fnim b'chutz. Usually, king is inside his palace and his servants watching over from outside. V'ilu ha-kadosh baruch hu, and the almighty God is the opposite. Avadav mi b'fnim v'mishamram b'chutz. That his servants is inside and he protected them from outside. Shenemar the said in Tehillim 121, Hashem ishmor tzedcha uvoecha me'ata ve'ad olam the Almighty shall guard you going out and you coming in from now and forever. So that's the way that our mezuzah is a protection, as the Gemari Menachot 33b tells us that the mezuzah is a protection from all those bad entities. And the the Vilna Gaon and you read the Arish Pehei said that's the source of this pasuk, this verse that some people say while well, they kiss the mezuzah. Igayu, this group also eventually saw the truth in Judaism and convert, and eventually the Caesar or the emperor gave up hope on a, on him to Loshadar Batrei. So therefore, after that, the emperor sent no more soldiers after Unkelus. Since we talked yesterday about Rebbe and Antoninus, which again, two great luminaries that... Uh, so we try to bring the source for that. The story tells us about Rebecca in Bereshit 25, that Vayomer Hashem Lashnei Goim Bebnei Rebecca have a twin in her womb. And she agitated because they are fighting within her womb, the Torah said. So she went to the Beit Midrash of Sheven Ever, and she asked, what is this? Why it's fighting my, my womb? So they said that you have two head of nations. You have Esav, that is the forefather of Edom, or from. Yaakov is the forefather of Israel. Amarav Yudah Amarav, al tikri goyim ela geyim. Meaning, you have great, two great, two mighty nations that come out of your wound. The Antoninus, the Roman Emperor, uh, Caesar, the Rebbe, that so number one is literally meaning that they are very wealthy but it's also show that all these lists never lack for uh, letters uh, cucumbers radish neither the summer no so either they have so much food as uh, they, they help the digestion the marsha and others said but also um, based on the morning to both 104 is just again show them that despite all the the good things they have they they reached their greatness. The Marmar Tzon Mechatechet Amachal Chazer Mapech Amachal Kishud Marchiv Tamayim. So all of that, as far as the digestion system, that's a something that um, uh, it's a, carries a very high quality. And then Vatan Dever Rabbi Shmuel Am Nikrash Man Kishim Neishik Kishim Gevudo For Shadam Kacharavot Lokasha Be Rabbi Rabbi Zutri. So here we have to differentiate between large versus small cucumbers. So obviously the meaning based on Rashi in Brachot 57 that the the large one is in, enlarged the intestine system versus the small one is not. Uh, the Mishnah said that when it's come to um, the those days that the idolaters worship, so there are certain um, days, or Meir said, Yom Haleida Yom Hamita, meaning the day that the king born and the king passed away. And uh, sages said that any type of idol worshippers that involve with a taking the body and involved with a, with some type of sacrificial offering is prohibited. Makes no difference according to him if it's involved with any type of um, death, that um, public burning or not. At the moment that um, involved with some type of idol worshipping, um, the day of the uh, passing of the king that's basically the day of idol worshipping because that's the whole ceremony. Alma Srifa Lav Chukai. Michlal de Rabnan Savri Srifa Chukai. Vatanya, the Sefta in Shabbat said, Sorfin Lam Dachim Vlom Darkei Emori. Vi Sarka de Atach. Vi Chuka. He, a Anan Rechai Sarfinan. Veaktiv. Uve Chukutem Lotelechu. Lakule Alma Srifa Lav Chukai. Ela Hashivutai. Uve Achak Bekaa Kamiflegi. Rabbi Meir Savar. Rabbi Meir Savar Loshna. מיטה שיש בשריפה ולא ישנה מיטה שאין בשריפה. 
פלחי בה, לעבודת כוכבים רב נאס סברי, מיטה שיש בה שריפה חשיבה לו, פלחי בה, מיטה שאין בה שריפה לו, חשיבה לו, פלחי בה. So again, here the disputation is, if that involved with um, a worship on that occasion, when the passing or not, obviously that's part of the ancient uh, minag, you see in the Rambam, in Ilchot Melachim, Umilchamatoem, chapter 2, the Rambam said when a king or head of the Sanhedrin passes away, his bed and items are burned as the utensils used by the king, which is his scepter and crown, may not be used by anyone else. This is considered a um, wasteful um, destruction or adapting the custom of the Amorites. The two notes in the Yorda 348 that it is prohibited to burn items upon the death of any previous individual. So again, it's all part of that concept. Gufa sofin lam lachim. ואין משום דרכי האמורי שנאמר בשלום תמוד עם שרפות אבותיך המלכים וגומר וכשם שסופרים המלכים, המלכים כבר סופרים הנשיאים מה סופרים המלכים ניתן בכלי דש משם and do not take from it any form of proof of cremation because that's against Jewish law and I know that some people ask that question no here you talk about a specific מלכים You talk about clay tash mishan and obviously not the body. Masay shemet Rabban Gabriel hazaken v'saraf alav amkinu sargel shiv'im manet tzuri. Here is again a story that we need to understand that it was a Rabban Gabriel hazaken that passed away and Unkelus who was a convert, he did shiv'im manet tzuri. So in general, he took the coin, the currency themselves. And that's the way Rashi said, but um, the Chazdei David said that it's the whole concern about Bal Tashchit, but obviously we need to know more what exactly involved in that story, and again, uh, it's above the scope of the uh, discussion today. V'amart ma'ayin sorfin lamitam kleish tashmishan, eima b'shivim anet sori, umid yachin alo v'atanya, okrin hamlachim, al hamlachim, ve'en bo mishum darkei emori amar avpapa, l'sus shirachav alav horse that he rides with him. So the Gemara asks, and they did not detach the uh, hooves of the king's kosher animal, which are not used by the king for riding. So basically we learn in the Brighter that, that if removing the hooves of an animal would entail that it becomes an animal um, with a wound that will cause to die within 12 months, it is prohibited to do it. אסור, ושאין בה טריפה, מותר, ואיזו עיקור שאין בה טריפה. Removing to move that not entail rendering the animals as a טריפה. בי המנשר פרסותיה מן הערקובה ולמטה. One who cuts the hooves of the animals, a severing the legs from the knee and below. So that's a גמר אין חולין. And you see אין ו' 76. And basically that's... Um, Um, uh, does not render the animal a trifa, the, that uh, um, here you see that they, um, the brighter hold it, it is a trifa, and that's uh, how you consider those uh, a kosher animal, like all those others, that that kletash misho, that that's part of the kings. Um, Rav Papa said that this applied to the, uh, referring to a calf, Pulls the king's coach as a kosher animal for of which the king made use. Yom tiglachad zkano. One of the things that the Mishnah prohibited is the day of shaving of the idolater's beard and his lock. And again, that's a different form of idol worshiping. Ibaelu echektani yom tiglachad zkano. Ve'anachad blorito. Dilma yom tiglachad zkano ve'avarad blorito. Tashman etan trava yom tiglachad zkano ve'anachad blorito. Yom tiglachad zkano ve'avarad blorito. Amar Abu Dhamma Shmuel, Od Acheret Yashlam Berom Yachal Yashivim Shalam Bebim Adam Shalem. This is another craziness that they have in Rome. One in 70 years, they bring a person with his full body. Umar Kivinu to Al Klifav Adam Chigel. So they take, uh, they carry on the, um, ride on the, on the lame man to symbolize the healthy Esav ruling over Yaakov, who walk with the limp after his fight with an angel. Umar Bishimu to Migdan Amar Rishon. They put the first man Adam on him. מניחים לו בראשו כרכיפילו של רבי ישמעאל ותלו לו בצברי מטכ"ל וארבעה זוזי דביסה ומחפים את השווקים בעינך ומכריזים לפניך סך קירי פרסתר אחוה מדמרן הזייפנה דחמי חמי ולא דחמי לא חמי ומאנה הלן לרמה ברמותי. So again, simply speaking, there is uh, obviously the, the regular translation you see in Gemores, but you and Yaakov and you see it was other מפורשים that uh, many others, Yavetz, 
that they have, uh, like the Maral, Kabbalistic interpretations, you see the Yad Eliyahu, Rabbeinu Hanan El, and many more. But anyway, the Zayfana B'Zayfun Nutei, Umesamin Ba'achev, Vay Ledan Kad Yakum Dein, they complete and said, War unto this one, Ya'esav, who that one, Ya'akov, will arise, as will cause Esav downfall. Amar Afish, Ashi, Yichshilan Pihen L'Rashaim, Rav Ashi said, obviously, the mouth of these wicked people have caused their downfall, because that's they said. We have to go by those that happen all the time, that, uh, that it does not count these festivals that have not occurred each year and every year. Those times that the Romans have those holidays, the <laughs> אמר לרב חנן, בר רב חיסדה לרב חיסדה, מאי קבוינן, אמר לי, הכי אמר אבו די מח, קבוינן לעולם תדירה כולי שתה פלחי לאו. אמר שמואל, בגולה אינו אסור אלא יום אדם בלבד. שמואל said, in diaspora, engaging in business with those idolaters is prohibited only the days of their festival itself, not during the day preceding the following festival. So since the Jewish people live among those idolaters, they are unable to refrain from engaging in business with them for such extended periods. So the Gemara asks a question, and their festival is uh, it's, uh, it's prohibited by itself. And see two rabbis that allow them to do certain things in those holidays. So they said, those, those uh, festival of Arab merchants is totally different. The Lokvia, that it's not permanent, that it's not a fixed time. So therefore, the sages did not include it in their prohibition, so, so, um, so, and it's a uh, total different. They don't uh, uh, idol worshiping and they don't thanking their God for all their things. And you see more on that uh, in the run on the reef, at the be beginning of the Masechet, the Boa Matchid de Lopez.